Thirteen nine. Thirteen nine. Yeah, get that. Revelation chapter Hold on, hold on. Now you said we interpreted the Bible. You tell me what that means. It's clean cut. Revelation chapter thirteen. But interpreting it right now. If any man have an ear, so say any man have an ear. Come on, let him hear. Then what? Let him hear. Right. Get understanding. Right. He that lead into captivity, he that lead into the captivity, come on, shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. So who led these people in captivity? Who led these people in captivity? Who was the last people to lead these people in captivity? Why these people? Our right, history speak for itself. There's many people that have been in captivity in our history. There was slavery in Africa before white people came there. You know that, right? You guys were aware of that? Read out of Galatians, chapter 6. Who were the slaves? There was slavery in Africa before white people. African kings had African slaves. That's what 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 that's Okay, what you saw, you saw it was so called African selling black Hebrew slaves. I understand. Okay, you're arguing semantics, you're arguing it's about not, labels. It's not, it's not. You're arguing about according to the Bible. African, Sub Saharan African, black, whatever you. Well, in America, you have labels. When you go for a job, you fill an application, what did it ask you? What's your race? Okay, right. well, what's your race? That. So it's not me. Your government made this up. Read that. Read. Talk to him. Talk, 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 Talk to him. Talk to him. Read that. This is Babylon the Ten Book Two. Read. Page 84. Great. In the year 65 BC, Woo! the Roman army. The what? The, the Roman army. So what come with the Romans? The, what come up with the ancient Romans? They were what? Italian. They were Italian. Italian. Caucasian, right? Come on. Under General Pompey. Come on. Captured Jerusalem. They did what? Captured Jerusalem. They captured Jerusalem. Come on. Great. In 70 AD. All right, you're going to see. Read. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son, Titus, put an end to the Jewish state. Come on. With great slaughter. Uh, what? Great slaughter. Yeah, great slaughter, come on. During the period of the military government of Palestine. Come on. Many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. Wait, said many outrages and atrocities. So it's not just the other day they were killing black people. They've been killing black since the, the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire. Come on. During the period from Pompeii to Judaism. Come on. It is, has been estimated. It that, has been estimated, come on. That over one million Jews. That's over what? One million Jews. One million Jews. Come on. Fled into Africa. They fled where? Into Africa. They fled into Africa. Come on. Fleeing from Roman persecution. So the Romans were after these Jews. Come on. And slavery. And what? And slavery. So they were fleeing from slavery. Come on. The slave market. The slave market is what? Were full of black Jewish slaves. No, that's right. You see that? Full of that's black right. Jewish slaves. They were full of black Jewish right. slaves. This, this is a historical You're not reading from the okay. Bible. You just say you don't believe in the Bible, so what are you talking about? It doesn't you didn't say you don't believe in the Bible, so we give you a historical book. Okay, okay, okay. Your people wrote the Bible. That's not the Bible. Jeremiah. That's not the Bible. Chapter 14. You just say you don't believe in the Bible. What's your point? We gave you a historical book. Okay, you just say you don't believe in the Bible. What's your point? Well, we gave you, we gave you, we gave you historical facts. You said you don't believe in the Bible. Read that. Jeremiah. Chapter 14. Verse two. Come on. Judah morning. Judah what? Judah morning. So Judah's the fourth born son of Jacob, one of the sons of Israel. Come on. And the gates thereof language. The, the, our leadership is languishing. We don't have any true leadership. Come on. They are black. They are who? They are black. They are what? They are black. The real Jews are black unto the ground. Different shades of brown. Come on. Oh, unto the ground. ground. Unto the who? Unto the ground. Who choke three and thirty? Give me um. What other the brother? Give me um. Song of Solomon one and one and chapter five. Hit him in the head, sir. Hit him in the head, sir. Read out of, read out of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Come on. My skin is black. My skin is what? My skin is black. I thought they said there's no color in the Bible. Read it again. My skin is black. So the prophet Job said his skin is black. Come on. Upon me. I know because you never heard it because your pastor taught you lies. That's why. Read it again. My skin is black. So the prophet Job said, My skin is black. Come on. Upon me. Upon me. Give me Song of Solomon 1 and 1 and chapter 5. Song, Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. The Song of Song, which is Solomon. So the Song of Song, which is Solomon, chapter 5. Fifth verse. I am black. I am what? I am black. I am who? I am black. You should have said, is that a Bible reading? 
I am black. He said, I am black. Come on. Yeah, but comedy. His hair color. <laughs> I am black. <laughs> but comedy. He said, I am black and beautiful. Like in the 60s, the black man said, what? I'm black and I'm proud. The black power. Okay? So our people at one time were, were, were proud to have color. But what are they doing now? They're bleaching their skin. They're getting contacts. That's right. Okay? The women are reducing their breasts. When a white woman's getting enlargements. Okay? They, they're getting uh, injections in their butt. When our women are blessed with the booty. Okay, so this is our love. We are blessed. Okay, read that again. I am black. What color is that? What? I am black. What color is that? I don't understand. I was a so called black man like Tiger Woods. Okay, first thing they get money, they get a white woman. Okay, I can't explain that one to me. Okay, well, our woman, we have we have the best woman in the world. The most high well, blessed. Okay, that's right. Well, well who was the national? What is his nationality? He said he was a Caucasian. Oh, and look, now he's going bankrupt. Okay, that's his curse. Okay, for crossing the line. What are you offering to the world? What are we offering to the world? Hold on. Are you offering the Bible? I mean, seriously. Okay, this is what this is what we're offering. This is what we're offering. This is what we're offering. Bible to the world. Give me, give me Acts seventeen. Wait before you do that. Get this one. Okay, this is the Hebrew chapter thirteen. Verse 8. Come on. Uh, Jesus Christ. The same yesterday. Say what? The same yesterday. Come on. And today. Come on. And forever. And forever. He didn't change. He didn't. He wasn't going to be white and come out. Uh, he wasn't black. He was white. And, and some people say he's a rainbow. Somebody. Some people say he's, he's just a spirit. He, he's Tootsie Roll. He's, he's all colors. Okay. What are, the message we have here today, brother, is to hold on. Is to to give our people back their true identity. That's right. Okay, we were taught that we were not God's people. Give me a Hosea 1 and 10. Hosea 1 and 10. Because the truth matters. The truth, the Bible says, the truth shall make you free. It's not a religion. It's not a religion. It's not a religion. It's our identity. Because we were taught that we were black people. We're not black people. Okay? Okay? These people, give me these people, these people taught the world that they're the Jews, okay? Right. In America, they call that what? Identity theft. That's right. Okay, there's laws against identity theft. That's right. Okay, they have imprisonment. Okay, you got to pay reparations. Okay, so that's identity theft. They throw people in jail for identity theft. That's right. Okay, okay. Read that, read, read, read. Problems. We are offering, that's right. We're going to we give, we give, we give you the solution. Okay, that America must repent and come back to the law, statute, commandments, or there's going to be judgment on America. Great. Well, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Great. Yes, the number of the children of Israel. The number of what? The number of the children of Israel. The number yeah. of the children of Israel. Come on. Shall be as the sand of the sea. So the Lord is comparing Israel to the sand of the sea. What do we know about the sand of the sea? It can't be measured or nor number. Okay, come on. Which cannot be measured. Your number, come on, and it shall come to pass. So every so often, what do they do? They do a census. They knock on your door. How many people living in this household? Come on, get in the place where it was said unto them, "Ye are not my people." So where is that place? Mainly talking about where in America. Okay, in America, we are called every name under the sun except the Son of God. They call us niggers, Negroes, Spicks, wetbacks. Look at the statement. What do you think? Look at this. Look at the statement. Trump. Donald Trump wanted for president, and he and he made a comment against the Mexicans and the Negroes. Okay, and the Mexicans are one of the hardest working races in America. That's right. And he said, "Oh, they're thieves, they're drug dealers, all kind of stuff." Okay, who's bringing the drugs in? Even though you might see the black neighborhood that they're selling drugs, how does the drugs get to America? Do we own any planes? Not in America. How did they get here? Okay? That's right. Your people are bringing the drugs to America. That's right. Okay, read. They had a movie called right. The Whistleblower. Okay, when that reporter showed how the American government was selling drugs in the ghettos to, to, uh, to buy weapons for the Nicaragua uh, war. Okay, and then we're using that drug money to, to, to uh, pay for those guns. Okay, great. There it shall be said unto them. There it shall be what? There it shall be said unto them. There it shall be said unto them in America. Come on. Ye are the sons of the living power. We are the sons of the living God. Okay, because our people have what? Low self-esteem because we were taught that we're nothing in America. Your people taught white supremacy. If you're white, you're right. If you're black, get back. We are here to instill dignity in our black men and black women to tell them that they're the children of God. That's right. Okay? So give me St. John 8 and 32. St. John 8 and 32. Wait. Read out John chapter 8, verse 32. Come on. 
and ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the truth. Come on. And the truth shall make ye free. See, we are here to free men's mind. Okay, for all the lies that you've been taught in society. You were lied to by your pastor, by your political leaders, by your priests, by your rabbis. They lied to you. That's right. Okay. Huh? They lied to you. Because what color is the Messiah? You believe in Christ? You don't believe in Christ. You believe in the Bible? You know, give him Psalms 14 verse 1. So what is he talking about? Psalms 14 verse 1. Why like him? Was he like Jesus? Psalms 14 verse 1. I know a lot of you think this is comical, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. A lot of you, a lot of you think that this is comical, but what happened during the time of the flood with Noah? Okay, they, they thought he would, they call him a drunkard. They thought, oh, nothing's going to happen. Okay, that's why I said it's going to be like the days of Noah. A lot of people going on, marrying, drinking, and giving it to marriage. Okay, there's going to come judgment. Read that, read. Psalms chapter 14, verse 1. Read. The fool, the, who? the fool, the what? The fool, the fool, come on, has said in his heart, has said in his heart, what? There is no God. There is no God. You got to be a fool in 2015 not to believe in God, just not to believe in his Bible. Okay? Why? Because you Job 924. Listen, brother, brother, hold on a minute. Job 924. Job 924. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Come on. The earth, the hope, the earth, the what? The earth, come on, is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Okay? When America passed the same-sex marriage law, they just put the final judgment on the on the death of America. Because according to the Bible, the most side created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Okay? That is against God's law. You can't say God bless America or a God we trust and you're contrary to the laws that's contained in the Bible. Hold on, give me a minute for 2013. Let me move it. We, I just told you to repent and come back to the commandments. Okay? Come back to the commandments. That's right, the Bible. That's instruction before leaving earth. Okay, wait. Romans oh, chapter 1, verse 25. They read it ignorantly. They, they, have, they do not understand what they're reading. We are giving you understanding. We are giving you understanding, true understanding. Listening is an art. Read. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Come on. And worship and serve the creature more than the Creator. Right. Serve the creature. Okay. In 2015, they say color doesn't matter, but how come every generation, okay, they say nobody knows what he looks like. How come, how come you don't know what he looks like, but he, every year he comes up to be a Caucasian, but nobody knows what he looks like? How, how, could they, how could they never make a mistake and paint him black? But they say, the truth matters. You know why? Because you want to perpetrate white supremacy. You want to perpetrate white supremacy. That's why you, what? Yes, there were records left. Okay, let's say he was black. So what? The truth matters. Okay? Because they because use so they problems. use it, they use this image to enslave people. Okay? Our people are mentally wow. enslaved. Read read. But the Bible is enslaved For this cause, the most high gave them up. And we'll make a deal. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. Mariqua. Mariqua. Hold on. Hold on. Mariqua. 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 Read that, read. 26 verse. For this cause, the most high gave the birth unto vile affection. Unto vile affection. That's what you see here on 14th Street. Read. For even their women. Even what? Even their women. Even their women, come on. Did change the natural use. Now, wh hold on. What's the natural use of a woman? Because I asked this number, I asked this question to a number of women out and they can't even give me an answer. Okay? What about you, sis? What's the natural use of a woman? Why was a woman created? To reproduce, what about you, sis? You say the same thing? Let's hold on, let's see what the Bible says. Give me Genesis 2 and 18. Genesis 2 verse 18. Now Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Great. And the Most High God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. So the Lord said it's not good that man should be alone. We gotta have a beautiful woman by our side. Read on. I will make him a help me. You will make him what? A help me. He will make him a help me. He was created to be a help me to her husband. Okay? But now you guys, it's been a flip. It's, it's a reversal. The woman is like, well, what have you done for me lately? That's right. Okay? So the woman wants the man to do something. Okay? But the woman was created originally to be a helpmate to the man. 
Okay, a lot of women don't know that. They want to be independent. They want to be a career woman. They want to rule over their man. Okay, uh, this is this is contrary to the order of God. Okay, read it again. That's why America is topsy-turvy. Okay, that's why you see all the plagues in America. That's why you see the forest fires in California. That's the right. tornadoes, the earthquakes, the famine. That's right. Okay, we are, there was famine coming to America. So God is doing all that? And she, yes, he's doing all of that. So why is that saving the world? He doesn't when he wants to destroy it. Okay, the Bible, the Bible prophesied, believe it or not, the Bible prophesied of World War One, it prophesied of World War II, and it prophesied of World War Three. Now, according to historical history, hold on, according to history, World War One took place, right? Yes or no? World War Two took place, right? So now, why don't you think that World War Three is going to take place? Okay, a lot of you people, you don't want it to come to pass, but it's got to come to pass. Why? Because the sins of America have reached up into heaven. Okay, give me your so there's a there's a give me, give me so there's a crisis in Syria right now, right? And the most high, it's going to go around the world. Why God doesn't focus on? Because he what? It's got to happen. These are the last days, my friend. Okay, it's not gonna listen. You think it's just gonna be forever? The whites gonna have money, they're gonna rule, the blacks gonna be in the ghetto, the one choice. No, it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna be a one percent. We're gonna be the hundred percent. Okay, That's read right. that. And the Lord and the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. Come on. I will make him a help. So the Lord made Eve a help me. Come on. Hey, give me first Thessalonians five and three. First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse three. Come on. For when they shall say peace and safety. For when they shall say peace and safety. That's what they say. Peace in the Middle East. Okay. Read it again. For when they shall say peace and safety. That's what everybody wants, right? Come on. Then sudden destruction. Then what? Sudden destruction. Then sudden destruction. That's what's coming on America, right? That's right. Come upon them. Come upon who? Upon them. Come upon them. Come on. As prevail upon a woman. As a woman in prevail. You know what a woman and she has baby pains, a pain here, a pain there, and if she gives that part of birth, that's what's going to happen to America. America's having all these late pains, economical, ecological, spiritual, financial, until what? America is going to see the Third World's War. They just had the other day that they see Russia is getting all kind of planes, all kind of military movement in Russia. All these other countries, China, they are all mustering a battle for the world, the Third World's War. America's Okay? And Americans understand financially in all forms. And let me tell you something. Pope going to Cuba, Havana, you know what they're doing? They, they act like they want to free up Cuba to bring democracy. No. America wants to take over Cuba's military base. Okay? They need the military base that's in Cuba. They took the military base that's in Haiti. Okay? They don't want to give uh, Cuba rights. They want to go in there so they can take over their military that's structure. Okay? That's so what they want to do. Now. Who's there now? Okay, they want to try to squeeze their way in. Okay, so we know this because why? Give me um, Amos 3 verse 6. You are standing before the true prophet of the Lord. We are able to go and dissect this Bible and give you understanding, okay, and forewarning of what's going to happen to happen right here in America. Great. Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Come on. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Now, what is a trumpet being blown? This Bible. Okay, in the last days, a lot of you are going to be afraid of you see what's happening. Okay, there's going to be death all over the planet Earth. Read on. Shall there be evil in the city? Shall there be what? Shall there be evil in the city? Shall there be evil in the city, God? And the Most High has not done it. And God has not done it. The God of the Lord Isaac and Jacob. Read on. Surely the, the Lord God will not do will do nothing, but He reveals His secret. What? But He reveals His secret. See, the Bible is a secret. The Bible is not for everybody to go and interpret the Bible. The Bible is a secret. Come on. Unto his servants. Unto his what? Unto his servants. So we are the servants of God. Come on. The prophet. The prophets. Come on. The lion has roared. So the most I reveal that God sings parables to his servants, the prophets, who we all here today. We are here to raise up the 12 child nation of Israel. Okay. Bring out so-called black men and black women, Hispanics. Okay, because right now the Hispanics think they're separated from the black men. You are people who are familiar. Okay, you got to come back and be with us. Because what do they do? They divide it in confidence. Because you speak Spanish, Espanol, I speak Creole, I speak English, so they divided us. Okay, but you got to understand that we're the same people, brother. Okay, come back to the so-called Puerto Ricans. We're from 
Puerto Rico, Boricua, Taino. Okay, I went to Puerto Rico last year, and I went to the uh, to the museum. Okay, and they have they tracing the, the origin of the Puerto Ricans back to Africa. Okay, the original uh, Boricua Taino are dark skin, darker than me and you. That's right. Okay, so we gotta understand that we are one family, brother. Don't let the white man fool you and say those are not we are not your people. We gotta come back together. That's right. Okay, read that. The lion has roared. See, the, the thing about it, we are here to to heal the breach that's between our people, our family. They don't. They rather we kill each other. They would rather we, we we sell drugs to each other. They get mad when we come out here and educate and uplift our people. Mm -hmm. and confuse them. What? They don't. They used to. So-called black men with their pants sagging, okay, getting high, doing drugs, okay? They're not used to seeing educated men that can articulate themselves verbally, okay? That's what Malcolm X said. You don't need a weapon against the white man. All you need is the truth. The truth shall make you free, okay? We are here to, to, to preach the acceptable year of Elisha Kawashaw, who you call Jesus Christ, okay? He's a so-called black man, and he's bringing judgment on the earth, okay? Great, yeah. But we're not here teaching hate. We're not here teaching hate. We're here teaching nationality. We're not being racist. We're here, we're here teaching nationalism, not hate, not racism. So, what about the